It is a truism that young children enjoy stories. As they follow the narrative, they begin to identify with the characters and become engaged by the events taking place. It's because stories provide an immediate stimulus that they can be a useful starting point to initiate scientific inquiry in the classroom. Used in this way, stories can bring greater meaning and relevance to the science activity. SIA has developed a resource based on the Key Stage 1 Story Sack, Anything's Possible, that can be used to support the teaching and learning of science. For example, by considering how the animals in the story are at risk of losing their home, the story can be used to introduce a range of scientific concepts such as interdependence and forces. The story was a great introduction to practical science because it gave, gave the children a context. The, the story set a problem, particularly the story that we were using, Anything's Possible. It encouraged teamwork and playing to your skills and that's what we're hoping to promote through practical science. It just made a wee connection with the children, particularly at this young age. Such use of stories can help to motivate learners by illustrating various aspects of how central science is to our lives. This ties in directly to teaching and learning about the world around us. Stories can be very effective in the teaching and learning of science and very much science has to be set in a very relevant context and a meaningful context for the children and if the children are very much interested in the story it brings it very much to life and then they can relate to that. A side benefit of working in this way is that language development will be supported both through encountering new vocabulary and scientific term and when talking about the events in the story. It is through such talk that children tend to assimilate new ideas. Early experience of abstract science concepts is more readily absorbed when a narrative makes them concrete. We were making the rockets because we were looking at the story Anything's Possible and we were trying out the different ideas. We tried to improve the rocket by using a bigger bottle and putting paper wings on the straw. It didn't really help because I think the wings sort of dragged the straw down towards the ground. Making the bottle rocket helped me to learn about the power of air because um, the air pressure inside the bottle made the thick straw fly. It was really fun to make and we won the competition for whose bottle cannon could go the furthest. Good. Such approaches to using narrative provide a route to better understanding of scientific concepts. They provide familiar language that is easily accessible to the young learner, as well as acting as a springboard for the introduction of scientific vocabulary. As children are led to recognise the connections between narrative events and the scientific reasons that explain why things happen the way they do, understanding of the significance of science will be built. This form of investigation thus supports children in making meaning of the world around us. I've seen such a transformation in the engagement with the children. I'm amazed at how much the children get out of us. It really brought the whole thing to life and made the science quite relevant to what they were doing in the story.